I'm Twyla. And I'm Natalie. And you're listening to Twyla and Natalie. We're going to talk to you about the joys and the pitfalls of being a grown woman, but we're going to do a little mini show here where we're going to address some questions we have, but also questioners, questions that have come up from our listeners. That's true. And by questions, I mean I was too lazy to write the whole question down. So <laughs> you'll get the gist. That's and right. And we'll just start talking. Um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, frenemies versus friends. Mm-hmm. We've had um, some folks bring that up, like h- how do you tell the difference yep. between the two? Um, I mean, I tell the difference real easily. How do you tell the difference? I don't have any frenemies. You don't have any frenemies? Mm-mm. How no. do you know? Because I, <laughs> <'cause> I don't deal with people <laughs> that I don't want to deal with. You know I have a no, I have a no a-hole policy. <laughs> <laughs> I I I do. I would say that I do. And okay, I defi- do have well then Fre- def- friend- define well, define that def- out. We'll define it. Yeah. So to me a frenemy is someone who takes on the appearance of being your friend, but in truth is taking actions behind your back that will be considered the action that someone who was an enemy of yours took on. Ooh. So it's that wolf in sheep's clothing. Yes, now, they don't have that. I can't. Well, do with after that. I tell you this, you might think differently. Oh no. Okay, go ahead. There, it's not often the people who are coming right at you. Mm-hmm. Like I got respect for that game, like I because I know yeah. being honest about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, you it's like I say, I like a racist that's an upfront racist, not a closet racist. Totally, like yeah. be upfront about it. Yeah, I yeah. have ma- way more respect for that, and would even have a dialogue with that person. But the person who pretends to your face and does, oh, how I, how are you, and all nice, and then you're hearing about how this person behind your back is talking about your business talking about you in a way that is, you know, less oh. than flattering and just generally gossiping or spreading things that are negative and or outright inaccurate because your true friends are not going to do that. That's true. Your friend who is really a friend is not going to repeat something they hear unless it's to you to be like, hey, you need to know but about see this. That's, see, that's what, in my world, that's how that, where the disconnect is because I don't have, like, I, there are people like that in my world. Yeah. But they're not my friends. No, and I don't no, even, and no. I usually they're don't even suffer that. But when you see someone like that, yeah. and and so let me repaint a picture here. If you, I'm talking, you know, there are many, there are different events that we attend, and mm-hmm. I go to different social gatherings, and there are a few people I run into, and I'm warm and cordial, but I know for a fact these individuals have said things or done things with the intention to have a negative impact on me. Oh, God, this is PTA. PTA! <laughs> Like it's just, <laughs> but like you're still moment. going to be cordial, which is, in my mind, what makes it a frenemy. Whether you're running to them at a soccer game or PTA or a fundraiser. Yeah, because you have to be cordial because, to because them. Because we are classy like that. No, see, it's not even because I'm classy. It's because they're connected to thing, to other people that could get hurt like my kids. Yes, yeah, so you want it, you're kind of keeping things, you know, calm, but you know. Yeah, because you know me in and real life. If I don't have to deal with you anymore... I yeah. am quick you to be like, it. yeah, I just, I'm like, oh, I don't have to deal with you anymore. Yeah. Let's but un- sometimes let's un- we everything. have to, you know, we yeah. might have, think about it in terms of couples. You could have another couple friend and your husbands or your partners get along fabulously, but the two women maybe don't get along or you have to pretend they do, but one is a big gossiper about the other one or, See, or both or both ways. Even. I don't, un- I am so But because backwards. your husband loves that guy and they're such great friends. No, you, you know what we do? Peace. No, you know what we do in our world? What? You just hang with him and I'll just hang with my people. Like yeah. we don't, we really don't do that. Yeah. We don't hang, if we meet a couple and we, s- and we spend like a little time with them and one is like, one, like the girl's my jam and the guy's not his sure. jam. Then we just don't hang out as a couple anymore. Yeah. I just hang out with her or he just hangs out with him. We mm-hmm. don't, we never put each other through that. Yeah. Mind you, I said, I, the more you, the more you're saying this more, I'm like, I am, I'm either just really socially awkward <laughs> or, or everybody's walking around the world thinking of me as their friend of me because <laughs> I just, cause you know, I don't, I don't put up with any of this. I mean, I, my, my, for heaven's sake, my life motto is what other people think of me is none of my business. Yeah. So I don't even pay attention to Well, you are not a friend of me because if there's someone that you don't see as being a friend that you as see as being an adversary for whatever reason, you just don't engage with them. Yeah, they don't exist. But there are times, like I was saying, in social settings, it, it's like running into an ex that you didn't have an amical split with. You're not going to, you know, act like an idiot and start throwing stuff, hopefully, you know, but you, (laughs) I'm sorry, this is not a visual medium, but I'm making a face. I know. I am making a face. She's giving some attitude here. Just going to say, depending on how we broke up, you might want to avoid me. That's right. You might not want to make sure I know where your car is parked. (laughs) 
<laughs> make sure I don't have matches. Just you go all carry underwood on them. Okay, yeah. Just make sure I don't have matches. You do keep a bat in the car. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's accurate. Yeah, but there's a time and a place for it. And I think that, again, it it. I think the key here is that we are not frenemies, you know, you know, I mean, with like the as individuals, don't be that person. Right. Either don't engage with the person or, you know, at least work to not add flames to the fire to, it, you know, to fuel the fire. OK, so if you're so if you don't know, if you're not totally sure if you have a frenemy in your life, I, I would I would guess at least the easiest ways to tell on the surface are the same things that I use to figure out if I want to deal with you or not. Mm hmm. If we have, if you see me and we have conversations, and all you ever do is either ask me my business, like like you ask a lot of details about what's going on with me, but you don't ever share your own information. Yeah, I always say that's a bit of a red flag. Yep. Um, if you are like what I call like saccharine sweet to me. Yeah. Like just like weirdly sweet to me whenever we see each other. Like the Real Housewives of New York greeting. Hi. Yes. Hi. You We're look beautiful. You look fabulous. That skirt's gorgeous. Yeah, Wait, there's a time for that. Yeah, and there's not I over mean, the top. Well, there's a time. Yeah, there's a time for that because we all know we women dress for other women. We don't exactly. dress for anybody else. We should but compliment each other when it's warranted. Yeah, but it's that weird. Like, I want you to, you know, like I want you to know that, like, like that, like false, like that false sense of bravado or false pumping somebody up. Like, I don't need you to blow smoke. Yeah, like I don't need you to pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. <laughs> I I know who I am. I know what I'm doing. I know how I'm doing. It's great if you you know I say you know oh I you know I haven't seen you but I heard things are going really well. That's great. That thank you. I appreciate that. But don't be like oh my gosh I know you're setting I heard you're setting the world on fire right now. You're doing all this thing. Like, tell me all about it. And like I'm like you don't actually want to you don't actually care about how I'm doing. You just want the dish. Mm. And I'm not really big on giving you the dish. Sure, so it's not. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is save all your compliments, everyone, for me, Natalie. <laughs> 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 don't waste them on Twyla, who won't appreciate it. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to compliment <laughs> me. It's all right. But you can email or message me and tell me how great I am every day, all day. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm great. No, but <laughs> so remember, I don't need that either because that's the problem. I have delusional confidence. So that's right. You don't. I don't actually need you to tell me how great I am. There's, There's no more room in your bowl of confidence nope. for any more. No compliments. <laughs> I think my, one of my kids, I think my son said the other day, he was like, if your head was any bigger, you'd have to take the roof <laughs> off to get you out of the house. And I was like, I'd be insulted by that, but it's accurate. Yeah. <laughs> so it's okay. So then, so here's my thing. How do you, how do you counteract like a person that's a friend of me? Like you have to, you have to be cordial to them. You have something that's tied to them. Like I, I try to just keep my head down. Yeah. Like I just try to, like my goal is, not to lose temper and not to cuss anybody out so uh -huh. that my kids don't get ostracized because they've got the crazy yeah, mind. Yeah, exactly. I think the way you counteract that is, number one, do not engage the crazy. That's always the number one rule. Um, if this is someone that is not closely in your circle, there's nothing good will come from confronting them on it. Let it go. Mm -hmm. The number two thing that I like to do, I like to employ this tactic, is I make sure I say nice things about them, but I try to keep it authentic again. So let's say I can't stand their personality, but I love the dress she's wearing. I might say, oh, uh, so-and-so is wearing a really nice dress today. That's nice really of you. I really like it. Like My you mama said if you don't have. saying a bad thing about those people. Because you know what? It, that most of, We live carries. in small communities, and it gets around. Well, and then, it, and then you become, you're doing, you're just being just as bad as the other person. Yeah, you, you are. So try to, you know, just put something out that's positive or say nothing at all. Yeah, so but I said don't, I don't, don't say engage in it, and and look at the source. Look at who's bringing you information as well, um, and and what they talk about with you. It's one one thing I learned, and I learned the hard way in friendship is, you know, how someone is is treats other people in the world, and how they are talking about other people in the world to you, is how they are treating you, and how they are talking about you to other people in the right, world. Right. Right. People don't, you know, you you don't. To be honest, choose. by that measure, m all of my friends probably think I'm not their friend. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I don't really talk about anybody. I don't talk about anybody. Like I don't like. But there's other things that you talk about and yeah. engage with a friendship. Well, yeah, like if I if I'm talking about a friend to another friend, it's usually to say, what are we going to do for that friend? How are we going to support that friend? Yeah, or, exactly. You know, or like I'm if I know like I have a friend that's having a hard time, I'll like like text the circle and be like. Yeah. You know, like, hey, I just talked to our friend, and I think we should just, like, love up on her a little bit. Like, Yeah, you know, exactly. Whatever. Exactly. Just stay out of the, you know, one of my pet peeves and where I'll distance myself from 
you know, a, a group of friends when, when and if this ever happens where you get one who's in a feud with the other one and like you don't know who's feuding with who. It's like I'm not about any of that. I like who I like. I enjoy who I enjoy. I try to do that, but then sometimes I just sit with a bowl of popcorn and watch it go down. <laughs> but again, you can watch it without fueling it, without yeah. participating yeah, I'm and not getting like involved a, Yeah, in I'm it. not a hairdresser from the Real Housewives. I'm, yeah. not like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like, girl, did, like, did you see that? No, I'm just like, I'll be sitting there watching like, what is happening? Yeah. here and then if it gets very awkward then i'll like make eye t- contact with another friend like yeah like we need to escape <laughs> like it's, it's getting a little bad but that's every like that's maybe once a millennia that yeah. happens Agreed. thank goodness all right so um so what if so i guess is a parting piece of advice mm-hmm. i would just say don't have frenemies if you can avoid it i think it's unavoidable no. so i think your advice is a little unrealistic no <laughs> It's, it's really not. You, know you just the, won't have as many friends as you want. For the average person, Twyla, you were you were better at that, like not engaging in main. I'll I'll break and smile at the person. <laughs> you know, you are able to just like distance somebody like is nobody. Yeah, I, I can ghost you while I'm standing right in front of you. You know, <laughs> yeah, you like full blown will isolate. Like I mean, North Korea. You know. <laughs> It is just all, and I'm more Switzerland. Yeah, you are. You know, I'm more like, I wish everybody got along. Well, then my wish for everybody is to be more Switzerland. <laughs> you, don't, you really don't have to be like me. Sometimes my, sometimes I probably make my life harder than it needs to be. That's okay. No, and I would say be aware of of the difference between a frenemy and a friend. Don't fuel the fire, but just be aware of it because there's some toxicity that you can easily remove for your, from your life by just not engaging. Yes, and you'll enjoy your life more if you do. Okay, uh, in the meantime, while we're on this break, hey, go check out the website. Go to matriarchdm.com. Go check out the Twilight and Natalie show page. You can listen to past episodes. You can email the show at hello at matriarchdm.com. And I promise we'll be back in a flash. So thanks for supporting us. We'll talk to you soon.